In a time when bop and fusion were all the rage, trumpeter Ruby Braff was a legend who embraced traditional jazz. His quote, old-fashioned style of playing did not fit in a jazz world consumed with the newer sounds of Dizzy Gillespie and Miles Davis. Even his New York Times obituary described him as an old-style jazz trumpeter and coronetist. And while this may have been true, Braff's defenders and jazz critics alike adored his sound, saying while it was rooted in the 1930s, it never sounded dated. Reuben Braff was born in Boston on March 16, 1927. A self-taught musician, he began working underage, locally at nightclubs and parties in the 1940s, most notably as a sideman for clarinetist Edmund Hall. After moving to New York in the early 1950s, Ruby began playing and recording with the elite of the jazz world. He jammed with the likes of Lionel Hampton, Benny Goodman, and Gene Krupa. Ruby's reputation as a lyrical, sensitive traditionalist grew with each gig. His heroes were definitely old school. Bix Spiderbeck, Bunny Berrigan, Bobby Hackett, and of course, Louis Armstrong. Louis influenced my playing and everybody's playing, singing and dancing and writing and whistling on this planet. He did everything. He actually brought us a new life of music that's lasted from then till eternity, hopefully. Ruby loved the American songbook. For him, Cole Porter, George Gershwin and Jerome Kern set the standard, and while Ruby's execution, tone, and beauty were as unique as he was, he always respected and returned to the melody of the song. He once said that what his music represented was simply an adoration of the melody. Ruby played the first Newport Jazz Festival and his association with George Ween's Newport Jazz All-Stars kept him busy traveling the world. And now Ruby Braff is gonna play I Got It Bad, and that ain't good. He recorded many albums as a band leader and also recorded with Tony Bennett, Buck Clayton, Pee Wee Russell, Dave McKenna, Dick Hyman, and many others. He found musical partners with his sublime recordings with guitarist George Barnes and pianist Ellis Larkins and Ralph Sutton. In the 1970s, he mentored a new generation of traditional jazz players. Scott Hamilton and Howard Alden, to name a few, recording extensively for the Concord Jazz and Arbor's record labels. Ruby was an important transitional figure in jazz. His biographer, Thomas Husted, said, he played with a number of both older and younger musicians. He represented a link between musical generations that worked to maintain melodic transitions in jazz music. Ruby's artistry should not be forgotten. 